So a lot of AMD's mobile GPUs based on the RDNA 2 architecture have been kind of missing in action. We've seen the 6800M in some laptops, at least in the USA, although I think the worldwide available availability of those has been pretty low or non-existent. The 6600M, which AMD is lists as it should be shipping, um, hasn't really actually shown up in anything available to purchase, although I do have a video where some Chinese site apparently had a review of it up and running. But the 6700M, which this video is going to focus on, is officially listed as coming soon. And I think we have some reason to believe now that it really is coming soon. There was a tweet yesterday about uh, the 6700M showing up in 3D Mark. And um, well, if, if you're looking behind me right now, you may be like, that's not a 6700M, that's a 6700XT. Well, that's what it's reporting as in this screenshot, but that doesn't mean that's what it is. These, these benchmarking, benchmarking sites, especially before official drivers and support and a, and a card officially launches, sometimes misreport what something is. Notice that this is on a Ryzen 9 5900HX. Um, and then if we actually again look down here at the specs being a uh, you know a 10 gigabyte model here and looking through the rest of the specs and the clock speeds and everything, we can be confident this is a laptop. This is not a desktop. So that means this is the 6700M. It's just reporting as a 6700 XT on the screenshot, okay? Now, we have scores here leaked for the uh, Time Spy benchmark as well as Firestrike. And here's those scores if you're interested. Now, scores by themselves are somewhat meaningless. We need something to compare it to if we want to actually have useful information. And if you're not running these benchmarks all the time, you probably don't really know what these numbers mean. So the really good news is that uh, Rogame, who uh, who tweeted this, and I'll link this as my subscribers are used to. Thank, thank you, subscribers, you beautiful people. I will link this uh, in the description to my video if you want to check it out for yourself. Also, before I forget, an extra special thank you to my uh, to my channel members. I, I forgot where my I didn't I didn't have my little membership list thing ready, but thank you all of my channel members for clicking that join button, helping financially support what I'm doing here. Anyway. Um, let's go ahead and take a look here. So he not only has this leak, but gave us a performance comparison on similar laptops running similar processors and setups to get us an idea um, of, of what we're doing here. These are all Ryzen 5000 systems. And so now we can take a look at how it compares against relevant um, competitors. All right, so this one is looking at Firestrike, which between the two, uh, the 6700M is performing better in Firestrike than it was in the Time Spy relative to the competition. Anyway, so notice here we've got some details on what these comparisons are. So like we have it up against an RX 6800M at 145 watts with an upgraded RAM and external monitor. Um, here is it uh, with the just upgraded RAM, not external monitor. Uh, there we have with the default RAM, and here's the 6700M at the 135 watt mark. That's what we're setting as 100% because that's, again, the one that the leaks are based on here. Just helping you interpret the graphs here. We have the RTX 3070, 140 watt on a Legion 5 Pro performance. We've got the RTX 3070, um, 130 watt and the Strix G17. And by the way, just so we're not confused here, these are laptops, so the, this is the RTX 3070 mobile version. This, we're not up against the desktop version here. Again, we've got another RTX 3070 here in another system, and we've got an RTX 3060. So those are our competitors here, and again, you'll notice that the cards vary, right? These are laptops, they're not all the same system. You're not just plugging in your, uh, your card into different desktops. So there's gonna be some variances in the performance there based on the powers and thermal solutions and all of that. Um, but it's looking like, at least in Firestrike, that the 6700M is beating the nearest NVIDIA competitor here, although it's a very close race with that RTX 3070 and has a pretty healthy lead over the RTX 3060. And this is where we would hope a 6700 class card would be lining up. We would hope that it's at least as good as or right around the, the 3070 uh, competitor from NVIDIA. It looks like we've got that. And it is, of course, falling, it looks like around 27, uh, sorry, to about 20% 
um, behind the 6800, or you could look at it as the 6800 has a 20% or so lead over it. Now that's in Firestrike. Let's take a look now at um, the uh, Time Spy charts. So on the Time Spy charts, we're now seeing the 6700M here at the bottom of the pack, including behind the RTX 3060. Now, I, if you follow 3D mark uh, benchmarking, th this has been something that we usually see, which is that the fire strike seems to favor the AMD architecture uh, relative to NVIDIA a lot more than the Time Spy does. So, um, we, we, anyway, that, that helps explain what's going on here. In this one, we're seeing the RTX 3070 almost catching up with the 6800M, and then the 6700M falling behind even the 3060, although a 2%, 2.5% difference isn't really falling behind too much. I would, I would consider that about equal performance. Now, um, I don't know whether or not, you know, we have fully up-to-date drivers for the 6700M, since this is an unreleased card. We don't know if whoever uh, has the system out there has a up-to-date driver. Maybe they, you know, they're a tester who has an official driver for this thing. Maybe not. So I'm not saying that this is going to tell us everything we need to know about the performance. These are also synthetic benchmarks. These are not actual gaming benchmarks. So once again, um... This this is what it is. It's just all we have right now, not a full review. Are you excited for these mobile GPUs? I have noticed a lot of people, I think, moving towards the laptop end uh, on gaming with this generation, since it's looking like buying yourself a discrete uh, GPU for your gaming desktop is just a nightmare right now. So a lot of people are looking at the mobile space these days. What do you think of this? Are you excited for the 6700M? Which which mobile uh, which mobile chip would you like? AMD, Nvidia? How, how, what do you think this uh, looks like for them this generation? Again, let me know what you think about in, in the comments. I do read all of them, and I hope all of you have an excellent day. Let me see if I can find my stop recording button. There it is.